Well, hello. Thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. Um, where we find ourselves now is inside St Giles Cathedral here in the city of Edinburgh. Um, beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And, of course, Jenny Geddes, or Geddes, should I say, was a Scottish market trader in Edinburgh. And she was born 1600, she died around 1660. Now, she was a Presbyterian, and she worshipped in St Giles here, in this very church. And King James II, he had Archbishop William Lloyd um, draw up a book of common prayer. And a great majority of the Scottish Protestants had determined to resist it. And I uh, just want to show you a statue here, which is of the reformer John Knox himself. As you can see. So that's John Knox. And there's a wee bit of information there about him. So if you want to read that, you can pause the video. Now, Jenny Geddes, at the uh, moment that the prayer book was being read by Dean Hannah, rose up in anger from the stool that uh, she was sitting on. And she threw the stool at the Dean's head, believe it or believe it not, saying with all the strength that uh, she could muster, will you read that in my lug? And uh, lug, of course, is Scottish for ear. And, of course, a riot started in the church, which poured out into the streets and the city of Edinburgh itself. So unbelievable, isn't it? And the uproar was so great that soon uh, Scotland rose in revolt and people flocked to sign the National Covenant uh, upholding Presbyterianism in Greyfriars Kirkyard in 1638. Now, they said that the Scottish Church must not be ruled by bishops. And the word bishop, of course, is derived from the Greek word episkopos, and uh, it means overseer. But the uh, Presbyterian system is based upon the authority entrusted by the church to elders, or Greek presbyteros. So two wars followed, uh, known as the Bishop's Wars, 1639 to 1640, which were also part of the Wars of the Three Kingdoms, also known as the British Civil Wars, 1639 to 1652. And all from one stool, so pretty amazing, isn't it? And there's a connection here with the uh, Covenant in 1638. So I'm going to read this wee bit out to you first. This is James Graham, the Marcus of Montrose, who once, whose once scattered remains were gathered together by the dutiful labours of his relations. And they were placed in this isle on the 11th of May, 1661. His descendants, kinsmen and citizens, mindful of the great ability of this man, caused this monument to be erected in his memory in 1888. The Marcus of Montrose was a signatory of the National Covenant of Scotland. He was a fierce royalist and was executed pursuing this cause. Following the restoration of the monarchy, his remains were recovered and he was reinterred in St Giles Cathedral and is believed still and his beliefs still to reside in close proximity to this memorial. And so this is the memorial here. As you can see. To James Graham, the Marcus of Montrose. And you can see there it says Montrose 1661. And what we have here is the covenant itself. Fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And it says there, the National Covenant, 1638. It's amazing, isn't it? And 
Just one more wee thing I want to show you, and then we'll wrap this wee video up. And so this is a monument to the stool, to Jenny Getty's stool. Isn't that fantastic? And there's a wee billboard here. You can see Jenny herself fly, fl throwing the stool at the, the dean, the dean's head. Certainly an exciting church to attend, no doubt about it. And that's the stool then itself. And so there's a wee plaque here on, which I'm going to read out to you. And it says the uh, Cottage Stool. And it was dedicated to Jenny Geddes, 1637, but it was, it was put here in 1992. So there you go. So that's amazing, isn't it? So the, war, the British wars broke out all from one prayer book being read and one flying stool. So thanks for watching and God bless.